Hey, I'm Mark Akers. This is Talking Cannabis again at Green Acres Dispensary. We got Adam here with Noble Lab. Adam's one of my favorite reps. Adam, how you doing today? I'm good, Mark. Thanks for having me, bud. I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming talking to us. Adam, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Yeah, so uh, I've been around cannabis most of my adolescence and all of my adult life. Um, I professionally got started in the industry in Denver, Colorado. Um, some friends of mine were opening up a, a marijuana company and they asked me to come and be a part of it. Um, so I ran a store um, for about five years in Denver, Colorado, learned the ins and outs um, of the rules and regulations, product knowledge, uh, connection with patients and learning it, what it is they use their cannabis for. Um, and then I ran a, or I was part of a compliance team for Incredibles Chocolate Bars um, for about a year right before I moved to Mississippi. And so now I live in Oxford, Mississippi. I married a girl from Tupelo. And so we moved back here to be closer to some family. And uh, last year I got a job with the Mississippi School of Cannabis. Um, I started teaching classes on how to run a dispensary. Oh. Um, compliantly. So I really, really enjoy that. And um, I do a little bit of consulting work. I worked on some projects last year, getting some people approved for their licenses and applications. Um, I wholesale glass pipes for a friend of mine out of Minnesota. I work part-time at a dispensary in Batesville on the weekends. And most recently, <laughs> I just joined Noble Labs as a salesman. I'll tell you what, that's how I met you, is through Noble Labs. Yeah, I called on you one day, and uh, here we are about 10 weeks later becoming friends, right? Yeah, I kind of wore you out a little bit asking <laughs> you questions, I'm sure. But No way. Man, I tell you, you just... There's no way to learn about this stuff till you jump off in until it. Until you get into it, just kind of figure it out, you know? That learning curve is kind of sharp. <laughs> <laughs> it's sharp and it's expensive if you don't do it right. Yes, sir. You don't want to find out the hard way, I'll tell you what. So what are you doing over at Noble Lab? Wait a minute, before I ask that, how's Mississippi treating you? Mississippi's treating me really good, man. How's the plant life? My plant life. <laughs> the plant life's getting the best of me, if you may see. I uh, got a little case of poison ivy. <laughs> It happens to me as soon as the weather turns nice, about every six weeks or so, unfortunately. Yeah, we got some good poison oak. We, <laughs> we, we grow good stuff down there. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. Okay, that out of the way. Tell me about Noble Labs. So Noble Labs is a processor here in Mississippi. So we don't grow anything. We rely on the cultivators in Mississippi to do their thing, and they do it very, very well here. Um, but what we do is we take that cannabis, and we make it into oil, and we make all the fun things. So we make edibles and we do topicals vape carts concentrates lots of good stuff okay when you say edibles what, what are you talking about an edible so um an edible would be uh, something you can ingest that is infused with marijuana um our company does gummies we're soon to have a drink line out here um in june which we're really excited about some seltzers Drinks. yes sir um so we're gonna have some seltzers Five milligrams of twelve ounce can. How much? How much of a unit is that going to be? Twenty cans will equal a unit. So you can so you buy get all 20, you want. Twenty. You get twenty times six. Twenty times six. All right, that'll be good. <laughs> That's a lot of drink. That's a lot of drinking. Ain't it? That's a lot of drinks. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So, <laughs> oh my God. So, I'm going to have drinks stacked up in here. You're going to need a big fridge. Oh bud. my. Oh, it's a cold drink, too. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Thanks. Now I got to have a refrigerator now. <laughs> okay. So, you got so you got some gummies and you got some drinks coming. Yep. What else do you sell? We do um, concentrates. We do a What's really, a really good at that. What is a concentrate? It's basically a way to make your marijuana stronger. So just like it is, the title of it, it's a concentrated form of marijuana. So we do butane and propane extracts. We do live resins. We do cure resins. We do um, uh, batters, so, all sorts of good stuff. Right, tell me about this this concentrate. So so now you've extracted it and it's in a like a syrupy form. Yep. So how do you how do you use it? So concentrates um, are active because of the process that you use to extract the um, cannabis oil makes them active. And so you can smoke them, you can eat them, um, you can infuse them into products from the oil. Um, you know, live resins is, is one of the best things we do. That's a fresh frozen product. So when the plant's harvested, we freeze it right away. And that way it captures 
everything that plant has to offer right then and there at harvest time. You, you hear a lot about live resins and cured resins. So, so what's the difference in a live resin and a cured resin? There's a big difference, actually. So like I just mentioned, a live resin is going to be when the plant is harvested, we freeze it, and that way it's still alive, and then we run it when it's frozen. Like fresh fish. Fresh fish. Right it's off a, the dock. It's a good analogy. Okay. There's nothing better in my eyes. So, the highest terpene profile, the highest uh, cannabinoid ratio, it's the creme de la creme. It's real clear. You yes, know, sir. It's real clear. And then, so your cured resin. Cured resin is... Just basically when you're curing your flower in order to smoke it to maximize your strength and potency um, and taste, you cure your marijuana. Yeah. So you're making it ready to smoke. Um, we simply cure that and then run it as is. And so yeah, it offers a, a little bit of a, a tastier product, a little bit higher in cannabinoid ratios, a little bit darker. A little richer. A little richer. It's kind of like aged whiskey and wine it, in a barrel it right? very well could be yeah. yes sir <clears throat> okay so you put that in a cartridge don't you we do right. cartridge we, we sell ours uh in concentrate form or we also offer um them in a cartridge the hardware we use for our live resin cartridges is specifically made for live resin so it's gonna not burn overly hot it's gonna keep the terpenes and the cannabinoid ratio is intact so you're really getting the most out of that <clears throat> we do them in disposable vapes so they're convenient for you they come charged already they're ready to rock and the reason we do those half grams is so you as a patient can get the most variety for your for your uh, pleasure so you're mixing and matching and keeping your tolerance levels up and experiencing new flavors and you get a chance to try what strains work best for you and you said something there your tolerance levels yeah, now, that's a less new. There's a lot of people come in here. They just got their card, and you'll have usually one of two people. One comes in here and says, "I'm a pro. I want to go pro level. I want the biggest and the baddest. I just got my card." Yeah. And the whole time you're like, "Oh my gosh, are you sure you want this?" Yeah. And then you've got, you know, people that say, "I'm not sure. Can you help me?" And we ease them in. Yeah. So can you tell me, what, what are you talking about, your tolerance level? Sure. So, um, you know, as you use cannabis more and more, you build a tolerance to things. Um, so if you find yourself with edibles, you know, typically a good starting point would be right around 5 milligrams, 10 milligrams, somewhere in there. And then as you get comfortable with your products and you find that they're working for you, you eventually build a tolerance. So you're going to have to up your milligram dosage. Um, always have edibles with a meal the higher the fat content in that meal the better because the THC bonds to those lipids in our system so it reacts quicker and stronger it's more bang for your buck is what I tell my patients yeah so a cheeseburger is going to give you better results than a turkey sandwich well, oh yeah yeah because it has all that fat in it or if you're a health conscious person like yourself <laughs> have a nice avocado yeah yeah I couldn't hardly tell somebody to go to McDonald's and eat a <laughs> cheeseburger I just I can't do that no I understand oh, no. man <laughs> So, on the, on the other concentrates, you have them in a syringe? We do. We sell them a full spectrum oil. So, it's the closest thing in Mississippi that you will get to um, an RSO, um, which is, you know, good for people that need high concentrates of THC or CBD. Now, you said Cancer FSO. Patients. FSO. So, we call that a full spectrum oil. So, we go strain specific. Single strain, single source. We're very, very prideful on that. Okay. Because when a patient is trying to figure out what it is they're after and what works best for them, they're not going to know if that product is made up of several different strains. Exactly. So that's why we single source, single strain, so that people can find out what's working for them. So if you smoke some super lemon haze, Mark, and you know that works for you, you're going to want to come back in and get the super lemon haze again because you know that works well with well, you. Well, you should be able to get that. And they're, they're wanting the same thing they bought last week and the week before. So your cartridges they can, and your RSO, they'll be there consistently. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, as long as we have the source and the plants are in rotation correctly, you know, we'll do our best to, uh, to get those to you in a timely manner. Well, you know, that's one thing you hear people say is, you know, you had this strain. You know, when I say strain, I'm talking about this particular type of plant, like a, it could be Gorilla Glue or just whatever. But they'll come in and go, you're out of it. Why are you out of it? You know, it's, it's unfortunate, but sometimes that happens. Um, it's a plant. It takes 90 to 120 days to grow, more time to cure. 
um, more time for testing through the state before we can even before the growers can get that out to you to sell. So you're looking at four months sometimes between plants to being ready to sell and shipped out. Um, you know, if those growers don't have things in rotation or maybe they just don't like the strain, um, they've got to have those things on cycle in order to keep the steady supply going. Well, that's, that's one thing I do as a dispensary owner is I, I will search other markets to see if anybody else is growing that product. But it's never going to be the same as the one that that guy grew. No. You know, it's just it's like not, a tomato plant, right? Exactly. You know, I mean, it's a plant. There's room for air. There's lots of variables that go into it, especially when you're growing conditions in your environment. And so if those things aren't exactly how you want them, even the same strain yeah. can vary from batch to batch. Oh, and yeah. that's why we do this testing, so you can see the results on how consistent these growers are. People ask me why I don't put the uh, the THC uh, ratings on uh, Leafly. And I, the reason is I order constantly. And so, you know, this batch will come in and it might be 27. The very same grower, the next batch, in the middle of that could be different, you know, where they took in. You're exactly right. So uh, that's just one reason I don't do that. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I appreciate all the help you give me, and it ain't over. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to aggravate you, son. I hope so, buddy. I will. I will. I appreciate you coming in and talk to us. Tell us a little bit about the cannabis industry and try to help enlighten the, hey, me and everybody else. Well, appreciate it, man. I'm happy to do what I, what I do. I love this plant, and uh, let's spread our knowledge. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Appreciate it. Uh, I think that was a keeper.